Hey, Steven Toys, and I am back with the Zombie Storyline Part Number Two. And you're seeing right here is on the PlayStation 3 Origin. And it's been kicking my ass. I've been trying everything to do all the ultimate stuff. I can only do the ice one, so uh, they've been, you know. Ah, let's just get started with the. The zombie story on part two. Here we go. Uh, 1945, after the World War II was over, some American soldiers are going back to their homes, you know, on a plane. And I don't know if they got shut down or something, but they they crash landed on a and an abandoned building on Germany. And if you have World at War, there's a cutscene that that a soldier is, you know, is getting up and all of a sudden someone's running towards him. And that's the zombie. So they or I think the you know the that one of the Sami was the pilot, and so he died. So the the four remaining Marines got up and built a barrier, you know, from the windows and all that, to face off the undead whore called Nash, the Untotem, or translated to Knight of Knight of the Dead, I think. Oh, I forgot. But anyway, so they're only armed with the coat and the, and they were and they were not going to make it until one of the soldiers opened the the um one of the doors that say the says help and when they opened it they they saw a box. This is the first time the mystery box is being introduced. For every time they hit it, they gave a, they, the mystery boss gave them a gun so they can survive a little bit more. Armed with every World War, World War II gun and, and the flamethrower, there was a hidden gun in the mystery box. And that was their, the first one, the weapon. Porter Ray Gun. But eventually they they die. After you know trying to survive for way too long, they they just couldn't help the undead horde. They got overrun and they died. Now a few months later, there was a a marine that got captured by a German some German and he was being held in an asylum. So they sent out four more Marines to that crazy asylum to rescue him. But we know him. And now we enter Veru. Now here on Veru we get we get four new toys to play with. And those four new toys are the perk machines. The first perk is Quick Revive. It has a fishy, so call it a fishy um, taste that helps you revive players more quickly. We got Juggernaut, like the, the. How do I explain it? Juggernaut acts like more of a Juggernaut from, you know, Modern Warfare. They can take more hits. So, so they can, when somebody hits them, they can take more than two slaps to the face. Double tap root beer that acts like rapid fire and speed cola that acts like sleight of hand. Now armed with that, 
they have some trash. So, trying to let's see if that special marine is still there. They're, they're armed to the teeth to face the undead horde that awaits them. And there are some crazy radios that in creepy stuff that happen there. If you're in the morgue and you go to, to crouch in one of the open morgues, you can hear you can actually hear people cry. A lot of crazy things happening there. And the marine that is not that is not there is none other than Tank Dempsey, who's being captured by Germans. But eventually, the four marines couldn't stop the undead horn. So they died. It's tragic. It's tragic. After they got the new toys, they all died. And more than a little bit of an Easter egg that. Mm, not much of an Easter egg is in there. The returning weapons are the same, and the ray gun is still the most powerful gun that the Americans know so far. But eventually they can report it to to their base because they got overrun and killed. But there was one soldier that escaped, and that is for another episode. But all I can tell you now is he got... I don't know if he got bite or infected, but he cut a, they cut his arm off. His left arm off. And that's being used to turn on the power from, from every map forward. So this has been the Sami Story Alarm Part 2. Nash and Baruch. And a little bit of an update here before I leave. I am gonna delete the black Pokemon Black 2 version gameplay because I really don't have time to even play that game anymore. And if I have free time I'm just gonna play for myself because it really doesn't fit well with the you know, the things that I really want to upload. So as you can see here um, in this gameplay, I'm going to do the uh, the, I, the ultimate ice staff. This is by far the only staff I've been able to uh, ultimate because fire, wind, and lightning are being a bitch and I really can't go forward. Because I really want to do this Easter egg on solo, but these the other three staff are being bitches, and I can do shit about it. So let's just fast forward here a little bit so you can see. Doing the, I'm doing this. I don't know if I get the song here because I really want to end the video with the Easter egg song. So yeah, officially Black Ops 2 is, has ended and that's where it goes. But I'm not buying ghosts. Not, well, I'm not leasing when it comes the days come out because I really don't care about any fucking Infinity War game. After they fucking blew their heads up with shitty Warfare 3. So yeah. Was I able to do that there? I don't, I don't know. Yeah, this is gonna be a 10 minute video, so... So 
give you luck. So if you want more, it's just like, subscribe, like, favorite, comment if you need to, subscribe for more. Um, so this has been a shorter video, but then again, I've been posting like 20 long videos. So yeah. I've been filming toys and I'm gonna try not to die in this on origin so much. Peace.